Wide receiver Randall Cobb joins us now. Randall, good to see you. As always, welcome again to the Texans. You and I haven't talked on camera yet, so we're really glad you're, you're here. And after the first few days of finished on the field, how are you settling into the offense? I feel pretty good about it. You know, uh, I, I think the biggest thing is just continuing to get repetition, continue to hear Deshaun in the huddle and uh, picking up on his, his cues and uh, just getting out there and going to work. How much fun is it actually? Because we hear how this time of year can be a grind. We hear how it can be tough. But are you having some fun? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, just having the challenge of learning a new offense and picking up uh, the offense of um, what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, so, so I think that it's just a new challenge and obviously have a little bit of normalcy uh, that, that we haven't had here in the past few months. So it, it's nice to get back on the field and be able to run around a little bit and catch some balls and, and just have fun doing what we love doing. Yeah, you bring up a really good point there about normalcy. You know, in a normal year, your body is at X level. But this year, how much fresher might you feel after not having to go through OTAs and mini camps? Is that, is that an a, a thing that's going on with you right now? Yeah, I think it's, it's you know, uh, it's a catch-22. It's, it's pros and cons. Obviously, uh, we're in a very peculiar time with uh, not having the opportunity to work in the offseason. So, obviously, the body is a little bit more fresh. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that, you know, I would do on a personal uh, level of uh, doing body correctives and stuff that I haven't been able to do that I normally would do uh, during, during offseason and during training camp. So, it's the give and take. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to finally be back in the facility and be able to work with the training staff here and uh, just work on the correctives and doing the little things I can uh, to make sure my body's in tip-top shape and in and, and game form by the time we get to uh, September. No doubt. You know, production from the slot receiver spot in this franchise's history has, has been spotty to almost non-existent. You know, you've got a, a pretty – voluminous pass there. You've done some things. What are your strengths, you think, as a, as a slot receiver? Well, first and foremost, I hope we can change that. Yeah. You know, I, hope, I, I hope that's uh, something that I can bring to this team, uh, you know, bring some stability there in the slot and, and be able to make some things happen. Uh, you know, I think if you look over the course of my career, most of my work has come from the slot, and I, I think that I've, I've got a pretty good experience, um, you know, if you look at my resume from there. So, uh, just being able to take what I've learned and what I've experienced throughout my career and, and add it into this offense and, and be able to help Sean with understanding what I'm good at and, um, you know, understanding what he's expecting out of me on certain plays and certain concepts. Yeah, you bring up Deshaun. Based off of what you saw on tape and what you saw when you were maybe just watching him over the last few years on game broadcast, how is that different than what you've seen through these first few days of camp when you've actually had a chance to catch a pass or two from him? Yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is before, you could obviously see his talent uh, glaring through the screen, watching him in highlights and uh, in gameplay, uh, going back and watching film and seeing what he's done over the course of his career uh, here in his short career. Uh, but I, I think being able to work with him on the field, his understanding of uh, defenses and understanding of what he's trying to do on certain plays, uh, it, it, you know, we're, we're starting to build that chemistry and that trust. And I, I think that's going to take time. And uh, continuing to talk through uh, different scenarios and situations. And, you know, we're, now we have live bodies. Uh, you know, we've, we've thrown on air a little bit, but now that we have uh, a defense out there having live bodies moving around, being able to discuss and, and talk through different point of views on certain plays and concepts. How comforting has that been for you actually getting to do that and getting to, to verbalize things? That's huge because that's all football is. You know, it, it, it's a game of X's and O's. Uh, you know, all of us are talented. If we weren't, we wouldn't be out here on this field. Uh, so we all have the ability. It's all obviously uh, the, the mental process of it and making sure that we're mentally on the same page and understanding what we're trying to accomplish. You talk about that talent that's on the field, you know, at the outside receiver spots. I'm not sure we've ever seen this combination of speed with skill. How might that help you with what you're trying to accomplish on an individual basis? Because we all know that the, the, the team goal is getting to the Super Bowl and winning one, but individually, how do you think that speed outside might help you? Uh, well, I think we, we feed off each other. Uh, you know, being, being able to have guys that can take the top off, being able to have guys that can work the underneath, uh, it, that's huge for us as an offense. The more playmakers we have on the field and the more that we understand how our concepts mesh, mesh together and understanding that sometimes it's going to be me getting somebody else open 
on a certain place and, and being able to do that and do that at a high level. Uh, you know, it's, it's complimentary uh, football whenever you have a group of guys that, that can come together and understand that, that it's not about one person, but it's about the team's success. Uh, so that, that's what I look forward to. You know, me and Cooks and Kenny and Fuller, we've all talked about that. We understand uh, what, what our role will be and, you know, what's expected of us. And I think that we're going to mesh together really well uh, and, and it's just continue to, to grow together as a team. All right, during the quarantine, the, the shelter in place, whatever you want to call it, what did you binge on? Any TV shows or anything you yeah. binged on? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. When, when it first started, so that's back in March, uh, me and my wife binged, uh, <laughs> what was that show? The, the, the Love is Blind on Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, wasn't that yeah, good? That was, that was pretty bad. That was, was wild, was yeah. Funny. Yeah, it was, you don't want to watch it. It's, it was, it was bad TV, but <laughs> we enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. We, we went back. Uh, we watched Friday Night Lights okay. all the way through. Texas Forever 6, you know. Got to <laughs> give that shout out. Um, Your eyes full hearts, right? Exactly. <laughs> we love, but that, that's one thing we do love. Me and my wife, we, we try to get in the show at night. Uh, try, to, try to watch a series right now. We're in Yellowstone. Oh. Uh, so we, that's, that's a really good one. We've been watching that here recently. Good stuff. Yeah. It's funny. You call it bad. The love is blind show. That's kind of like the way my mom would, she'd call it trash. It's trash. Yeah. yeah exactly. oh, that's trash. Same I can thing. hear her saying Same that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, what, what'd you say? Tiger King. Tiger King. Yeah. Tiger that was like right at the start. Yeah, Joe Exotic. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> wild. Hey, on game day, are there any songs, there's any music that you get, uh, you, you get in your ears and you get, get ready for the game with? I mean, is there anything that gets you going? Uh, I have a playlist. I have a playlist called The Calm Before the Storm. So, you know, I, I try to go through that, uh, try to keep my, my mood pretty even kill until that last, like, 30 minutes before we go out as a group. So I, I try to stay pretty calm and collected throughout. So Calm Before the Storm, is it like the quiet storm that Laramie Tunsil, Tunsil listens to? He uses Sade on game day. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm going to I'm have to ask him about that one. But <laughs> – yeah, mine kind of up the same alley. It's a little bit of Lauren Hill, uh, a, a little bit of Erica Badu. So it's it's pretty much right up the same alley. Of, you know, just trying to keep keep the emotions down. Okay, we're gonna rank the Randalls. Okay, Randall Cobb, that's you. Randall Tex Cobb, the actor. Randall McDaniel, Tony Randall and Randall Cunningham. How do they rank? How do they shake out there? Well, I don't know the last two, so uh, that's going to be four or five. <laughs> you don't know Randall Cunningham? No, not kind of Cunningham. I definitely know Randall Cunningham. Yeah. Uh, he, Tony say, Randall, the actor. Cunningham is, I got to put myself first. There you, you go. Know, you got I, confidence. I like yeah, it. I got to have my, got to have myself first. Cunningham second. Randall Tex Cobb third. He took a lot of knockouts. <laughs> uh, and I don't like the last two, so they got to be four and five. Okay, Randall McDaniel, he was a Hall of Fame offensive lineman uh, back in the day. And then Tony Randall's, I don't know if he's still alive even, but he was, he was an actor way back when. Uh, Randall Tex Cobb, I mean, have you ever, I know you're, you don't look like him and he's way older than you, but has anyone ever like mistaken yeah, you? Yeah, all, all the time. Really? The time. Yeah, if people want to call me Tex, I'm like, no, that's, that's not me. How fast. There's only one Tex Cobb, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, most people call me RC or Cabo. Okay. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Either or. Either or. Yeah, as long as it's not Randy. No Randys, huh? Nah, not a Randy guy. Fair enough. Fair enough. What food do you absolutely hate? Food that olives. I'm not an olive guy. Olive, black or yeah. green? You don't like either? I don't care. If it's an olive, I don't want it. Okay, no olives for Randall Cobb. Yeah. What food or what meal is perfect after you win a football game on Sunday? After a win, let's see. I gotta have me, gotta have me a nice steak uh, with a glass of cab. You know, I think that that's the that's the way the best way to cap off a win. What type of steak? New York strip, filet, porterhouse. What are we working with there? Uh, yeah, I like either a filet or or a uh, ribeye. Okay. Fit it on the day. I, I, I understand that. That's good stuff. Okay. We'll wrap it up. I'll, I asked this of all your teammates. What's the last thing that you cooked? The last thing that I cooked. 
Let's see, I made breakfast yesterday morning, so I uh, made some lemon zest blueberry pancakes. Ooh, that sounds pretty uh, pretty intricate there. That's that's not just a bowl of... Oh, yeah, I like to cook. Things. Chef Cobb is a nickname, too, if you want to call me that. Chef Boy Chef, RC. Yeah. Chef Cobb, all right. Chef Boy RC. Chef Boy RC. All right, well, Chef Boy RC, it's always great to talk with you, great to catch up with you. Welcome again to the Texans, and best of luck in 2020 and beyond, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it.